Hi guys and welcome back to Car Focused. Today's video is a bit of a follow-up from the last video where we visited FJRS and I had the service MOT and the long-awaited Mountune MR375 upgrade fitted to the car. Now I did do a quick drive, a bit of a road test after that, but we didn't really get to kind of put it through its paces a bit more because of where we were, residential area, there wasn't really anywhere to stretch its legs and I had to rush home as well to go and pick up my son. So. Yeah, so we're here a couple of days later. I literally, I haven't driven the car since then. Got home from FJRS, had quite a long run on the M11, and then I put the car in the garage and it's remained in the garage for a couple of days due to work and just not having time to get out on it. But it's currently the 29th of September, and this is probably gonna be the last time I take this car out because the weather is really turning now. What I definitely can say guys is that this map has really smoothed things out. I know I said it in the last video, but the car is just much more kind of friendly to drive now. It's just way more reactive um, on the accelerator is how, how I can put it. It just reacts to what you put in. Where before it was just too, it was too eager, too overreactive, should I say. Whereas now it just means you can control the car easier and you basically get in or get out what you put in. So yeah, it takes a bit of getting used to because normally like then, if I just put my foot on the accelerator, it would be off. Whereas now, it kind of feels like, oh, it's a bit slow, but it's not. It's just because I don't have that over eagerness. So I have to put my foot down more to get the power. <laughs> yeah, so you kind of, you put your foot down and you think, oh, it's not that quick, but then the power really starts to surge it's from like 4,000 revs so yeah still want to get it a bit warmed up don't want to kick its head in too much until um, everything's nicely lubricated in the engine you should never thrash a car from cold as you all know so we'll just ease her in I normally wait for the temperature to get up to about 100 degrees the oil temperature it's currently about 80 yeah, it's just so much smoother to drive now. Ah, oh, it's a lot better, a lot better. Ah, oh, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna miss this car over the winter, but I really can't afford to be driving it around through the salt because I don't know if I mentioned in the last video, the sill ends on this car. Fred picked it up last year, but the rust on the sill ends is getting worse and it is at a point now where we need to address it. It's a different animal now, it really is. Whoa! <laughs> I can't. It's, I can't explain. It's just so much stronger. It's just literally what I was after at the top of the revs. I mentioned it before, but at the top of the revs, it was just where it was disappointing. It got weaker. Whereas now, it just feels equally as strong in every gear up to the red line. It's just immense. Oh, it's just such a delight to drive, guys. Cyclist. There's a lot of loose chippings on this road. Doesn't sound great. a beast <laughs> whoa she is quick <laughs> oh this is amazing guys amazing oh, this is perfect now this is perfect for, for a British back road seriously you need no more strong <laughs> whoa she is 
a absolute beast. Absolute beast. <sighs> Whoa. Mountain. Woo! My, my, arm, my, my arms have gone numb there. <sighs> absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. That is, I, th that is how this car should have left Ford. If it left Ford like that, whoa. The good thing about it is it's all totally usable. It's not like, I'd say it's like at the limit of too much power. So it's, it's not quite too much power. It's like perfect. Any more than that, I think if we went like MR420, I think it'd just be too much. <coughs> this is just the sweet spot absolutely beautiful just bliss yes i love it love it. it this does not need to be any faster does not need to be any faster no way <laughs> oh what an animal what an absolute animal oh guys this car. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it right, so like you hit the red line with no drop in power. It's really weird. Like before, when you go towards the red line, you feel like you're just wringing its neck and it's just like slowly dying. But this is just power, red line, change gear. It's like, it's absolutely immense. Nail the throttle. like chasing us yeah she's absolutely I can't say I love it anymore can I this car this car is just epic epic oh guys I'm in love with this thing all over again I loved it anyway but it's just so good. I tell you what, jumping in this thing again next year is going to feel absolutely magical. <laughs> we just got a thumbs up from the motorbike. Oh, I feel a bit bad kicking this car's head in, but that's what it's for, isn't it? That's what it's for. So I think to summarize, guys, I think it's been worth the wait. Maybe if I'd have done it straight away, it wouldn't have been quite as exciting because I've been driving this car as it was for five years, and now all of a sudden it's just turned into the car I've always wanted it to be. So yeah. So mega it's just so mega these cars right there are people out there that have these cars and they keep them in the garage all year round basically clean the life out of them don't use them for me yeah these cars look brilliant and it's lovely looking at them but you've got to drive them you've got to drive them I know I don't drive mine all year round but I do get out when it's nice weather between the months of April and October and I do really give it a good pasting and that's that is where the enjoyment for me comes out of this car 
that is where all of the thrill, the emotion, that is where it all comes from. It's getting behind the wheel and just experiencing the way it drives. Ah, anyway, I've said everything I need to say, guys. I've said everything I need to say. I think that's it. The car is fantastic. From now on, well, from here on out, we've got some preservation work to do, some tidying up. Need to get some braided rear brake lines. I need to get some body work done. I don't know how long I can put it off for. Yeah, I can't put it off for too long. I've got to get the seals done. <sighs> yeah, and once that's done, preservation and enjoyment. That's what it's gonna be all about, guys. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you can see that this car has been transformed. If you're thinking about doing this to your car, if you wanna smooth it out, give it an OE feel in the way it drives normally, but then it's absolutely beastly when on it, then this 375 package is the one. Mountain done a great job. I just wanna say thanks to Fred and Johnny at FJRS as well, and to the guys that have helped me along the way with this journey. I appreciate you all. And I'm one happy chappy, and I'm well and truly in love with this car. My little dream, Focus RS. Anyway, guys, that is it. Until the next one, as always, take care, and I shall see you soon.